Hey guys! So today is a nail tutorial day, but I thought I'd also throw in an outfit of the day just because I've, I don't think I've ever done one. So um, it's just, I just have a um, charcoal gray v-neck t-shirt on with this really fun sweater from Wet Seal. Um, some skinny jeans, I think they're um, American Eagle. Um, these stud diamond earrings, um, not real of course, and this little kitty cat silver ring that I got from Forever 21. Um, and my little kitty mittens took my chair. Say hi mittens. So yeah, that is the outfit of the day and this is going to be our nail art of the day. Some multicolor, um, leopard print nails. Um, these are actually going to be um, for um, April is Autism Awareness Month so these are my kind of tribute to that because they are the colors of the Autism Awareness Ribbon. So yeah, let's get us started. So for this tutorial you're going to need a green, yellow, red, and blue polish and the blue is um, Silly Hansen Insta Dry in 430 Brisk Blue. The red polish is a Maybelline polish in um, number 250, Keep Up the Flame. The yellow I'm using is a Julep in Abbey. And the green I'm using came in this um, Revlon Nail Art Neon in number 190, Amped Up. Um, the base coat I'm using is um, Sephora's Formula X. The top coat I'm using is Seche Vitz, or however everybody says that. This was actually on like half off sale at Ulta, which is why I got this. I thought I'd give it a try. Um, you'll also need, I guess you don't really need to, but I have a French tip done under the polish. So I'm using Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Sheer French Color. A white striper I'm using Orly Instant Artist in crisp white and you'll also need a black striper I'm using Orly again in jet black so that is everything you need and let's get painting so the first step as always is to apply your base coat which I have already done as well as my French color whatever color they actually call this I don't even know but this one then you're gonna take your white striper and paint on your French tips and however you find this easiest to do um, they have guides that like little sticker guides you can use or some people use tape if you want to really straight straight across line I just freehand it especially since the leopard print will be going over it oops there we go and then you're going to continue that on all your nails Okay, once you have your tips all painted, you're going to start with your colors. I'm just kind of dotting them on in just like the corner portion of your nail. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start with the green. Just kind of tap a dot. It doesn't have to be round. It doesn't have to be... You know anything perfect because you're going to be going back over it with the black and you can kind of make it how you want um, so just kind of randomly put them around that corner area then we're gonna move on to the yellow and you can go whatever order um, doesn't matter just so long as you get a little bit of everything on each nail. Do, do, do. 
Then take your red polish, and you can also use a dotting tool or a paintbrush or anything. I just use this way because it's convenient um, for me, and the shape of the dots doesn't matter to me. And lastly, the blue color. <laughs> Try to get that one really close to the skin. Like that. Little one down there. like so and then once that has dried we will come back and dot around so go ahead and finish the rest of your nails and let them dry and we'll be right back so now our fingers are all dotted up and we're ready to paint our leopard outline so this one um I guess the easiest way to do it is just kind of like halfway and then like halfway, kind of like little C's around them. I don't know, it's, I find it hard to explain. But however, you kind of, just kind of messy partial outline, you don't want to go all the way around. You don't want to fit, go too close or you won't be able to see any of the color. And then fill in any openings with just dots. So any like blank spots. Right, like so. And we have our one finished nail. So we're going to continue on outlining our dots and filling any in, and we'll be back with our finished product. Here we are, lovelies, and we are ready for our top coat. Remember to take a generous amount so you don't smudge that beautiful artwork. And there we have it. We are done. So, now that we have our lovely animal print ready to go, let's be fierce and have a great day.